I hate sewing so much. Hello. Yeah, of course. Oh. Welcome to the video. Turn the music off. <laughs> <laughs> we're making plushies today. So we're going to Joanne's right now to buy fabric. This is Katie, by the way, my friend. Hey. <laughs> Katie's gonna make, cause she already has an owl plushie. She's gonna make her owl plushie a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So that's super cute. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Biscuit, we'll be back. Hi, Biscuit, we hate you. No! <laughs> I got in my car, it said it was 114 degrees. <laughs> oh my god! Just opened right across from the warm, so I feel like they'll have more than one spot open. Yeah. Little toys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Oh my god, can you imagine making a little cowboy? That'd be really cute too. Yeah, that would. Oh my god, wait, that's so cute. You could make bed sheets out of this for your kid. True. And they would love it. Wow, we should get a kid so we can make them stuff. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Gotta find a man first. <laughs> this is like the exact color of the pink owl I have. Oh, cute. Okay. Yeah. Your sister sent you a picture of the owl that you are gonna be the copying? Owl, I forgot, yeah. And in my mind, I thought it was way cuter than it actually is. Show me, show me, Because show me. this is what it looks like. Like, <laughs> no wonder she's alone. She's so ugly. <laughs> she looks like a Furby. <laughs> Ew! Don't even say that! It's when fine, I it's fine. We'll make her boyfriend super hot and it'll give her some self-confidence. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> they got cutted. Cutted. Yeah. <laughs> Joanne okay, takes advantage of you if you're stupid because you can't do math yeah. <laughs> and you can't figure out how much they're cutting and how much it's gonna cost. They know the artistic people don't know how to do math, <laughs> so that's how they get you. That's what. However professional, I need to get that aesthetic shot of all the supplies that we bought. It's Faye on the voiceover. Um, so here are the supplies we bought. A lot of cloth, uh, mostly like a quarter yard I think, and then some cute buttons. So this is me kind of planning out the design for the cowboy, figuring out like what shapes he's going to be made of and everything. Um, so I did a lot of little sketches and this is the one I chose. After I chose my design, I drew out the actual patterns. Um, I don't know if I did this right because I actually don't know anything about fashion, but I've seen people do this. <laughs> uh, where they draw out the shade that they want. So I drew out all the shapes that I thought the cowboy would be made of. I labeled how many of each piece I thought I would need, just so I would remember how many to trace on the fabric. Um, and then when I cut them out, I left like about two, one to two inches of like seam allowance on the edge piece pattern. That just means that like when you fold it over and start like sewing, it accounts for, you know, how much of the edge is going to be folded into the thing that you sew. Um, so by giving it seam allowance, the piece doesn't actually shrink. Alright, this is me actually cutting out the fabric. Uh, these are the pieces that are going to make the head. I think he's just going to have a little dome head. <laughs> so this is me sewing them together. My strategy for hiding the chalk that kind of like stays on the fabric after I trace it um, is that since I'm gonna have everything like sew everything inside out and then turn it right side out to kind of hide the seam I just make sure that the chalk is facing outwards um, so that when I actually flip it inside out for the final product the chalk is hidden inside so I don't know anything about sewing but that is like the one thing I know <laughs> I hope you're impressed Uh, we bought this great like value pack of buttons when we were at Joann's. There's just so many, and I think almost none of them match, which is kind of great and also terrible at the same time. I decided not to go with button eyes for the cowboy because they are actually so creepy. So, so far I've made the head. Um, <laughs> I haven't stuffed it yet, but it is a shape, and I've made an arm. Also hollow. An arm. I actually, this is some editing magic, but I already made an arm prototype. 
So that's like his hand, and then I used a little plaid to give him a sleeve. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but it's coming together, I think. So I have some stuffing, um, which I'm just gonna take and put it in there. This, cut, this looks a little bit weird, but you get the idea. Stuffing complete. Here's the arm. So what I've been trying to do is just kind of like measuring it by eyeballing it. Just kind of doing a little wrap around. Oh, other way. Okay, so his hand's supposed to be sticking out of the sleeve. So I've just been wrapping it like this. Kind of measuring approximately. Still trying to like give it the two inch allowance and then cutting it and sewing it. Um, and I'm now going to push the little arm through it, which I think should be fun. If I can do it, get in there. <laughs> okay. Yay, it's going, okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta dress up his little arm. This is literally so cute, I'm having so much fun. Okay. Here we go, his arm is in the sleeve. Ta-da. So now, two arms. These are the parts we have so far. He's coming together. Five minutes. Hello, it's the next morning. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my brother is playing really loud music in the background. It's even louder in person. My phone camera has a really bad microphone. Um, but let's keep going with this project. I'm gonna try and relocate somewhere else in the house where we can't hear that. So let's go. This is where we have, this is where we've kind of stopped. This is like one day's worth of work. So his head, and his legs are connected to his body. Um, his face is done. That was really fun to do. There is something really important to discuss, which is trying to make his boot. Uh, so I made like this pattern for it, and I was like, how hard can it be? I was just gonna make two of them, put them together, and it's gonna be kind of like a funny, flat boot. Um, and this happened. It looks terrible, it looks awful. Um, I don't know what happened. I think it's because I tried to put that little like triangle thing in it to make it look more like a boot. Like a boot. Uh, it looks awful. Like even for me, like this is like pretty shit production value. So I'm gonna try again. I don't know what to do to fix it. I think what I'm probably gonna try and do is like make the bottom of the foot its own piece, make three pieces essentially. So have the two sides, but then also have a little bottom so that it's more like of a round shape. Ugh, this is gonna be so hard and I don't even know how I'm gonna make the hat yet, but we'll get there together. Let's do it.
welcome to my desk. I have made a new model that's inside out right now and I'm going to open it up, turn it the right side out and see if I did better than this. So let's go. I think what's really scary about this is like to keep the seams clean, you have to sew it inside out, but it also means that like there's no guarantee that it's gonna turn out looking the way that you thought it was gonna, like inside out, unless you're like actually good at sewing, which I'm not. <laughs> okay, um, it's not super clean, but I, I think, I think it's better than the last one, right? I got rid of the stupid heel thing I was trying to do. front still looks kind of shit, but I'm gonna stuff it, so I think that might actually help. There's one of the seams. That's a pretty good seam, you gotta admit. You can't really see any of the stitches. That's pretty good. Okay, everything else is a little bit messy, but I'm gonna stuff it now and see if that helped. Okay, so here's Curtis. We named him Curtis after the nice boy on Love Island. Oh, this is so cute. I love dressing him, it's so funny. Okay, right? That's like, <laughs> it looks kind of bad, but also it's like not that terrible. I think it's kind of cute. The back looks really good. I'm mad that the seam that's turned out the best is in the back. Like no one's gonna look at that. No one's gonna notice how good that is. All we're gonna notice is how messy this one is. Yeah. Now I just have to make another one like this, which already took me like two hours, cause I'm stupid. But I kinda know what I'm doing now, so maybe it'll be a little easier. We'll reconvene, and then I'll figure out what's actually gonna take the longest, which is how to make the hat. Which I am not confident about now, because I really fucked up the boot thing. But, oh well. I guess we're just gonna learn. The brim of the hat is done. Yay. <laughs> Ugh. I guess I'm gonna try and do the top now. That's what's kind of scary. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Okay, so the next problem after the fucked up boot. <laughs> so, I made the perfect shape for the top of the cowboy hat. Except that it's inside out. <laughs> but when I turn it right side out with the leather outside, it looks stupid. It looks like a top hat. <laughs> I hate sewing so much. A leather top hat, you know? Because this shape actually works. It's just the wrong way out. <laughs> You're making a boyfriend for your owl stuffy. Yeah. <laughs> your owl She's plushie. been alone too long, okay? <laughs> okay. It's good. Oh. This project has proven to be so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I know. And I had harder projects for us planned later. I don't know how. I think we need to take a step back. So, what happened the first time is you made the owl boyfriend a little too skinny. Yeah, and when I, I um, accidentally turned the wrong side inside <laughs> out. So now he looks dirty. Like, look in the little crevice there. That's oh. disgusting. It looks like <laughs> dust. She doesn't have a name, but... She's cute, and she's ready for a man, so <laughs> low-key, she's a bit ugly. Comparing the sizes of like what they would have been with that one is so funny. <laughs> He's too small! That's so cute. Yeah. Oh my god. She's gonna be so happy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't they already look perfect together? They do. They're both so expressionless. <laughs> <laughs>
final touch. He's already wearing his boots. Oh Put on the hat. I shall do the honor. <laughs> oh my god, Curtis. <laughs> Curtis, you're complete. I love him. He's done. It only took three days three to days, make my guys. son. <laughs> three days. <laughs> three days to make my son, and it was worth it. Oh my god, I love you, Curtis. <laughs>